Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day today. So I know I said my next three videos were gonna be about how to edit your drone footage, but I'm actually gonna take a break from that today. And the reason for that is it's pretty nice out today. It's a little windy, actually it's really windy, but for the past two weeks I've been unable to fly. And so today what I'm gonna do is put up the Mavic 2 Pro and I wanna test out the new Master Airscrew Stealth Propellers. I've had these for a couple of weeks and I've been unable to check them out. So today is a good day to test them. So we're just gonna do a hover test about 200 feet up in the air and it should be pretty windy up there. So I think it's gonna be a good test of the performance of the Master Airscrew. So let's get the Mavic 2 Pro up and see how these props do. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you might be here for the first time, this is 51 Drones and my name is Russ. On this channel, you're gonna find a lot of content, mostly about drones, of course, but I also do some other tech-related product reviews and tutorials, comparisons, and things like that. So if you enjoy what you see today, or if you enjoy any of my other content after you browse around a bit, I invite you to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. So I have two sets of the stealth propellers from Master Airscrew. I have an orange set and a black set. I'm gonna be giving away one of those. I'm gonna give away the black ones. I'm gonna keep the orange ones because they look really cool. Now I will say right up front, I don't have high expectations for these propellers as being better than the stock propellers. And the reason I say that is because I'm very happy with the stock propellers on the Mavic 2 Pro. The decibel level is fine. I mean, I've never been annoyed by the noise on it. The performance is great, the flight time is great. And so these are gonna have to be pretty good for me to say they're better than the stock propellers. I will say, if you need an extra set of propellers, these are actually $5 cheaper than the stock propellers. And so they really look cool. They're a little bit cheaper if you need some propellers. So I am gonna have a link in the description where you can get a set for your own. Now they do have a variety of colors. Like I said, I just have the black and the orange and I'm gonna give away a set of the black ones here at the end of the video. So let's get the Mavic 2 Pro up. The first thing that I'm gonna do is check the decibel level of the stock propellers. So we're just gonna do a hover test. I know it's not a real world test. It would be more accurate to fly around but uh, but not today when it's this windy. So let's get the Mavic 2 Pro up with the stock propellers first, see how it does. Okay, so here we go. Let's go straight up and we'll bring it back towards me here. All right, so let's get the decibel meter out. So I'm gonna go, we're about 10 feet up in the air. We're just gonna go, uh, we are not too far, about 15 feet away. All right, there we go. Now we're just gonna bring it down to 20%. And then we'll bring it down and we'll see what the flight time is. And then we'll pop on the master air screw and see how those do. Okay, so what I decided to do is because I'm not gonna be able to get an accurate decibel level today because of the wind going up and down and I don't have the best decibel meter. Uh, I'm just gonna bring it down and I'm gonna hover it right above me and I just want you to hear the difference between the stock propellers and the master air screw. Like there's definitely gonna be some tone differences. So the volume isn't so much uh, what's important to me. What's important to me is that tone. And that's the same for the Mavic Air. Like it's actually not that much quieter. It's just that it's not so high pitched. And so let's go ahead and get it down close to, uh, close to above my head here and just listen to it. And then I'll put it up against the master air screw and we'll just see what the difference is. Okay, so here's the stock propellers. Okay, so we're just coming up to 20% now, so I'm gonna get back over to the landing area. And there we're at 20%. All right, so flight time. We're at 22 minutes and 28 seconds. So, so pretty good for as much wind as there was. All right, so let's put on the master air screw and see how they do. All right, master air screw. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna hover in the same spot that I had the stock propellers and we're just gonna compare the sound, the pitch of the propellers. 
All right, so here is the sound of the master air screw. Here's the stock propellers. Okay, one more time, master air screw. All right, let's go ahead and go straight up 200 feet and we'll hover. I don't know about you, but definitely quieter. Like not quieter, but just the pitch is, it's better. <laughs> so it's not a lot better, but it, it definitely is better. So let's see how the performance is um, hovering in 25 mile per hour winds. You know what? I do want to say right now, hovering at 200 feet above me, I can barely hear it. So Definitely better at 200 feet. I think it's a little bit better when it's 10 feet away, uh, but I'll put them side by side so you guys can hear. I, well, by the time you hear me saying this, you've heard them side by side, but definitely quieter at 200 feet right now because I can't even hear it. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and bring it down. And let's check our flight time. 20 minutes and 17 seconds. So not quite as long as the stock propeller. So pretty disappointing, right? At least I was disappointed in those numbers because the master air screw is claimed to be 5% longer flight time. And actually the stock propellers flew for two minutes longer than the master air screw. So I wasn't happy with those results and I had a feeling that the wind was a factor. And so what I did is today, which is the following day, over my lunch break, I did the test again because the wind was less today. It was about 10 miles per hour outside. And so I flew the Mavic 2 Pro in the same way, but I didn't go up that high. I stayed about 30 feet above the ground and I just let it hover again. And with the stock propellers, I got 21 minutes and 36 seconds. And with the master air screw, I got 22 minutes and one second. So I was a little happier to get 30 seconds more with the master air screw, but after I thought about it, I'm like, I'm still not happy about that. So when I got home today from work, I went in the garage and I flew in a controlled situation and I did the same test. I hovered at three feet above the ground with the stock propellers and the master air screw and the stock propellers flew for 20 minutes and five seconds down to 20% and the master air screw flew for 21 minutes and 24 seconds, which is about 6% better. So I was very happy to see those results because master air screw claims 5% longer flight time. And so that was pretty cool. Second thing that I noticed is that the battery was cooler after flying down uh, to 20%, just a little bit cooler, but I think in the long run over repeated flights, that's going to make a huge difference on your battery life. So the master air screw are more efficient. And then the other reason I wanted to do this is for you to see the actual difference in the sound, because when you're outside, the wind's blown around, you can't really tell on the microphone. And so hearing it in the garage, you're kind of able to hear the difference in the tone. So here is the stock propellers at about five feet away from the camera. And now here's what it sounds like with the master air screw propellers on in that same situation. So as you can see, the decibel level really isn't that much different. They're actually pretty much the same, but it just sounds better. It just sounds, I don't know, more efficient. It's just smoother. And then especially at 200 feet, like when I was flying yesterday uh, in those high winds at 200 feet, I couldn't even hear the Mavic 2 Pro with the master air screw props on there. So. I think that's probably the number one reason to get these propellers is because the tone is just a little bit softer. It's a little bit quieter. It's not really quieter, but it just sounds 
more quiet. And so that I think is the most important reason. The second most important reason to get these is they make your drone look really cool. They come in a variety of colors. Um, I have the orange and the black ones. I'm gonna keep the orange ones. I'm gonna give the black ones here away. I'm gonna tell you how in just a second here, but, um, but they do have a variety. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check out all the colors that they have to offer if you consider getting these. Um, the, another reason to consider getting these is they're about $4 cheaper than the stock propellers. And so you're gonna save yourself some money and they're gonna perform better. They're gonna keep your battery cooler. You're gonna fly a little bit longer. And so there's so many reasons to get these. And Master Airscrew has a really good reputation. They've been doing this for, I don't know, like 600 years. <laughs> no, they've been doing props since the 70s. And I mean, they know how to make propellers. And so if anyone's questioning, you know, oh, you should only use stock propellers, I would gladly argue against that because they know what they're doing. They do many tests on all of their propellers. And uh, so they wanna make sure that they're putting out a good product because they want you to trust what they're putting out there. So good stuff, guys, keep it up. Um, if you guys are interested in winning your very own set right here, I do have these black ones. I'm gonna give these away to one of you. And all you have to do is number one, be subscribed. Number two, comment down below anything you want, anything at all, uh, just so I have something to draw your name from. And then finally, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at 51 drones. If you guys have those social media platforms, I would appreciate you following me and uh, joining that part of this community as well. So hopefully I gave you something of value today. Hopefully I give you something that's gonna help you make a good decision. If I did, click on that thumbs up button, let me know. Thank you for watching guys, have a wonderful day and as always fly safe and fly smart.